Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Today I'm going to be doing a pros and cons travelling to Europe for holiday after Brexit 2001. So uh, let's jump right into it. Now according um, to my resources, I've gone on to the www.gov.uk website and you can get um, even more information there. But I'm going to fire away as uh, we know in the UK um, as left the European Union. Uh, today I'm going to be uh, looking at um, the pros and cons of travelling for a holiday in Europe. Starting off um, with the cons and then I'll tell you the pro afterwards um number one is at the moment according to the government guidance you can only uh, travel out of the country if it's essential um so hol holidays um you can't go on at the moment and um, i will let you know in the future uh, when you can go on holiday and um, when the government basically say it's safe to do so um, because of the coronavirus at the moment. Um, number two, um, you should check your passport that um, it's basically got, say, at least six months on it. And um, number three, you need to get a travel insurance that covers your health care. So if um, anything goes wrong, uh, such as um, your health care needs on holiday then if it has health care then it'll cover your health care say for instance if you have to go in hospital um if you're in for unfortunate enough and um, number four and um, if you are driving and um, you have to take the right driving documents um, again, if you're uh, taking pets, then you need to organise pet travel and for that you need to contact your vet, uh, vet at least a month before you go. So, and uh, number six is check the travel advice of the country that uh, you are looking to visit um, again you can probably um, look in like a travel brochure at sometimes they may say in travel brochures also if you check online of the country that you're going to visit um, or again ask a travel agent to find out for you um, and uh, number seven, if you're unable to, uh, you are unable to take milk, meat or milk products uh, can, or products that containing them in the EU, there are some exceptions, for example, the amounts of powder infant milk, infant food or pet food uh, requested for certain medical reasons. Uh, for more information, uh, you can go to the uh, European Commission website um, as to what uh, you can and can't take. And um, if you're taking plants, that's number eight, or, and plant products to the EU, you will need a certificate to take certain plants or products. So check again with the European Commission website for that. Um, they will have more information on there about it. Um, number nine, free mo uh, mobile roaming. Again, check with your phone operator because the guarantee of free roaming in the EU EU has now ended unfortunately so um, again I would check with your mobile phone operator for that and um, compensation and um, if your travel 
is interrupted that is number 10 again you need to check your travel insurance terms and conditions to see um, if uh, you can get compensated um, so again the advice is to check your travel insurance hopefully you can fingers crossed depends what it says in your travel insurance also um, the pros um, if you're just looking to go on a short term holiday um, you do not need um, a visa for short trips for most countries still check with your travel agent or the country that you intend to travel to though um, if you do need a visa but most countries um, again this is a pro that you for just a short amount of time on holiday etc then you don't need uh, to get travel insurance also next week um, I will do a travel video next week for business travel in the EU so uh, please keep watching and um, I would like to say thank you for watching please subscribe it's the red and white subscription button also click the notification bell i upload at least five times a week and i love talking about travel and uh, my next video is going to be aired um, at 6 30 tomorrow night um so please keep watching and thank you for watching I hope everybody will be able to travel soon where they want to travel in the UK, Europe, worldwide as soon as possible. So um, everybody uh, please take care, stay safe and follow the government's guidelines and thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye.